Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make samosa chant. For this recipe, you'll need two cups of plain flour, one tablespoon of cumin seeds, one tablespoon of crushed chilies, one tablespoon of salt, six to eight potatoes. You'll need some chaat masala. You need two onions. You need one red pepper, one red onion, one tomato, one cup of garden peas, some papadums, a pomegranate. You'll need some chickpeas, some natural yogurt, some tamarind sauce and some masala chili. So we're going to start off by boiling six potatoes for the samosa mixture. In a cooking pot, add some oil, then add your chopped onions. Saute the onions for about five minutes, then add some salt. Add three to four green chilies and mix well. Now it's time to add in the cumin seeds and the red crushed chilies. Now it's time to add in the peas and the fresh coriander and give that a good mix. The next step is to roughly mash the potatoes. Now add the mixture into the mashed potatoes. Combine all the ingredients together until they are mixed well. So now the samosa filling is ready and should look like this. So the next step is to make the pastry for the samosa. Here I've got the plain flour and I've added half a teaspoon of salt. Then I added one tablespoon of oil. Now add one cup of water. You can add more once you start kneading the dough. Knead the dough for about 5 minutes until it is light and fluffy. Now it's time to make the roti for the samosa. Get some dough and make a small round ball. Next flat it out and roll it into a thin roti. Try to make the rotis as round as possible so the samosas are symmetrical and try to make them all the same size so the samosas are all even. Now remove the excess flour and put the roti onto a tava. Cook on medium heat for 30 seconds on each side. Now cut the rotis in half, making sure both sides are even. The next step is to make a paste to hold the samosas together. You can easily make this by adding a few tablespoons of plain flour and a little bit of water to make a runny paste.
Now the paste is ready, you can go ahead and go around the pastry with the paste. Now you need to fold the pastry in half and I use a fork method to close the samosa but you can close it however you like. Now fill the samosa, put some paste on the edges and close. The next step is to make the chana chaat. So I added some butter into a pot, then I added some chickpeas, some potatoes and gave that a good mix. Now add 2 to 3 tablespoons of chaat masala and you can also add coriander powder according to your taste. Again, add two to three tablespoons of tamarind sauce according to your taste. Then add half a cup of spring onion and give that a good mix. The next step is to prepare the toppings, so finely chop a red onion, finely chop a tomato and de-seed a pomegranate. The next step is to fry your samosas until they are golden and crispy. Next we are going to make the first sauce which is a green mint sauce. You will need some mint leaves, a few ch green chilies and some fresh coriander. Put that all in a blender and blend. Next, add 5 to 6 tablespoons of natural yogurt into a container and mix the chutney and add some salt. The next sauce we're going to be making is a sweet chilli sauce. So I'll add some masala chilli sauce and some sweet chilli. Now you have to break up the samosa into three pieces. So this is going to be the first layer of the samosa chart. Now add the channel that you prepared on top of the samosa. Next top with the mint chutney. Now add the chopped red onions and the tomatoes on top of the chutney. The next step is to drizzle the sweet chilli sauce on top of the chart. Now add some natural yoghurt on top of the chart.
Now drizzle the tamarind sauce on top of the samosa chart. Top the samosa chart by crushing the papadoms and sprinkling on top. And finally, top with some pomegranate seeds. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.